Let's talk about capital raising. So you're going to remortgage your property to buy another property cash or buy it in an auction. Now, there are a lot of people out there. What they will say is, oh, yes, you can do it via bridging finance. Just put a charge on that property, put a second charge on the property or a first charge if you don't have a mortgage on your existing property. And then you can do the bridging finance. OK, but well, guess what? Bridging finance is very expensive. I'm going to talk about how you can remortgage that property without necessarily having an onward purchase, without finding a property yet, maybe wanting to go to auction, but you can do the groundwork so it's actually a mortgage rather than bridging finance, so you're actually doing it a more cost-effective and a long-term sort of way of doing things. Good morning, everybody. It's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. Um, I thought we'll talk about raising money to buy properties in cash. Um, this is a question that I'm getting a lot more of. And in fact, I actually sent a, a, an email around to some of my lenders to get some clarifications around this. Because more and more people, what they want to do is they want to remortgage their property um, and then maybe be, become cash buyers in auctions or want to be cash buyers and you know going to the going to estate agents and offer cash now that obviously enables you to get a better deal um, in some cases okay because you can exchange and you can complete faster the problem is um, and it's a uh, it's a complex problem uh, generally is when you go to your existing lender and you will say I want to remortgage I've got X amount of equity in my property I would like to pull that equity out and I would like to uh, put it down as a, you know, I want to buy it cash. I want to buy another property. The rule is, um, and it's a little bit different from a residential remortgage to a buy to debt remortgage, and we'll talk about that, but the, generally the lenders will come back and say, what do you need the money for? Now, you would say, okay, well, I want to. Now, the reason they ask that is there's a couple of reasons. There's UK money laundering rules whereby you, they need to find out or they need to put somewhere where, where, what's this money going to be used for, okay, to get around some of those rules. But more importantly, they also want to capture what it's going to be used for. Is it going to be debt consolidation, for example? Now, that's seen as a more of a riskier transaction because it's showing someone's in debt and they're looking to take out more equity to pay their debts off. And some lenders simply don't like to do it. So some lenders like Coventry, for example, will say, if a remortgage, whether it's a residential or, or buy to let, if, oh, no, actually, if it's buy to let, we will not, um, we will not do debt consolidation. So there, and there are a number of lenders that will say we just don't do debt consolidation. There are a lot more lenders that will say we will do debt consolidation, but subject to 80% loan to value maximum, for example. So they've got rules around that. And that's why they want to categorize why you want to remortgage. OK, the client turns around and says, well, actually, I want to remortgage to buy another property. But and then the lenders will say, and this is this is where the problem is. The lenders will say, sure, no problem. Let us have the offer from your new onward purchase, or let us see the details of your onward purchase. Let us see an illustration for your onward pur purpose. Let us see a mortgage offer for your onward purpose. Now they've got different sort of rules. Some lenders will say we want to see it on offer. We will only release the money once you've found the property and you're buying that property. Others will say, just give us the details of the onward chain. Others will say, give us a mortgage offer from the onwards. And there are some lenders, and this is answering the question in a very long-winded way, sorry. There are some lenders that will say, no, you can remortgage without providing us with an onward purchase. We still want to know what you're doing with it, but you don't have to give us that uh, onward purchase. Now, as things stand right now, majority of those are on the buy-to-let side. So if you're remortgaging a buy-to-let property, um, they will allow you to do so, okay? In fact, I had one yesterday, um, they will allow you to do it on a buy to let, but will not allow you to do it for residential purposes. So they will not allow you to capital raise to buy an onward uh, property without a forwarding address, um, but they will allow you to do it on a buy to let side. So the moral of the story is it's a lot more, it's better and there's more lenders out there, certainly more choice of lenders out there. I would say so far, they mainly seem to be the non-high street lenders, but hopefully there'll be a few more coming through. Um, but you can, you can capital raise, literally take your money out, either take your money out, or what I recommend, or what I think most people should do, is 
you know, a, an average remortgage offer lasts for about six months. Okay, so the actual offer it lasts for six months. So you've got six months to buy a property. Why would you want to draw that money out? Once you've got your mortgage offer, once everything's done on the remortgage, you get your legals done, you get everything, but you sit tight. You don't want to draw down on it because you're going to have to pay interest on that money. Okay, so have it there, have it sitting there. We already know the lender, we've gone through the process and the lender doesn't want the onward purchase, but have it ready. So when you do find a property, instead of going down the bridging route and putting charges on your properties and it gets very expensive, this is a perfect way of you know, utilizing what equity you've got in there and then only drawing it down when you actually need it. So that's in regards to capital raising to buy a property cash or in auction. Um, and hopefully you found this useful. If you have, guys, as always, share, like, and subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what, what else you, you want me to talk about. Take care. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.